water tasting for you, but it's not just plain boring water, it's these fruit waters that actually only have fruit in them. I saw them at Whole Foods and I saw them starting to multiply and uh, you know it started with just coconut water and now there's a whole bunch of water so I'm going to do a tasting for you. I haven't tried any of these before, although I, I did like crack the lid on one or two of them just to make sure I wouldn't have trouble opening them. Not all of them, you still might get to watch me struggle. But here's my first one. It's called Harmless Harvest. It's uh, raw coconut water. I've never actually had coconut water that wasn't um, from the coconut itself. So um, it's not heated and let me see. It says, yeah, just 100% organic coconut water. So this will be interesting. This is my first one. Doesn't smell like a whole lot of anything. Hmm. doesn't taste really strong or anything. It's sort of like a light taste, but I wouldn't even say it's that coconutty. It's pink. This one's pink. It doesn't actually say gluten-free on here, so I had actually messaged them and asked, and they said, yes, it's definitely gluten-free. And it is BPA-free, too, so that's good. It's really, really, like, tame, and I don't even taste that much coconut in it. So it's probably a good drink to just sort of have on the side to get some good nutrients in you, but not strong tasting at all. Okay, the next one I have is watermelon water, which I'm excited about. I, I never thought of having watermelon as a water. How cool is that? And it says specifically no water added, 100% juice, and the ingredients are just watermelon flesh, watermelon rind, and lemon. That's it. Um, never heated, non-GMO, ooh, shake it, shake it, shake it, okay, let's see, ooh, it kind of smells like cucumber, actually, but I like cucumber, so it's okay, <clears throat> oh, it's nice, it's also team. Tastes a little bit like watermelon, but it tastes like watermelon when you get down to the rind, like the part that isn't pink anymore. That's more what it tastes like, but it's really nice. It's refreshing. I like it better than the coconut water. It's nice. I like it. Mm. <laughs> I would definitely buy it just to have in hot weather, especially. This one says vegan and gluten free on it. So actually, this is my favorite one of the two so far. And the next one is something really unusual. It's called Maple Water by Happy Tree. I had never heard of anything like maple water, but it's supposed to be just the water from a maple tree. And that's it. That's the only, it's no preservatives, BPA free. And uh, again, this one didn't say gluten free. So I messaged them also and they said, yes, it's definitely gluten free. So. This one actually expired really fast. It was one of those ones when you, you buy it and it expires in like four or five days, something like that. It's very fast. So it's actually, it's technically expired because I couldn't drink it fast enough. I had to get all the waters together before this video, but mm, it shouldn't really expire that fast. I don't know. Fingers crossed. We'll see how it tastes. Oh, I do taste a little bit of maple. I have to taste kind of like really taste it to taste the maple. If I don't like super taste it, it's mostly like a lightly sweetened water. But if I really work at it, I can taste the maple. That's really refreshing too. I still like the watermelon best just because it has, I think, the most flavor and the most recognizable flavor. And now I have a bonus one for you. Are you excited? It's organic raw kombucha tea. This one is citrus flavor and the reason I'm interested in this is uh, kombucha is supposed to be really really good for your gut. It's supposed to have a lot of um, what is it? Um, antioxidants, probiotics, that's the big thing that's like so good for your gut. Enzymes and the citrus I 
was interested in because it's not it's just just citrus flavoring. It's uh, the raw kombucha and lemon juice, and that's it. And it's gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, organic. Um, actually, I shook it, and it says do not shake, but I shook it anyway, so it's too late. That's probably why you're not, oh, that's why you're not supposed to shake it. Uh, it's gonna explode. It's okay. Got some foam going on there. Uh-oh. Should have read more carefully before I did that. So read your kombucha first. They have other flavors too. Oh, it smells sort of like um, a lemon iced tea that you would drink like a regular one. Oh, it's very, it's like um, bubbly. I've never had kombucha, but it's nice. I like the bubbliness. It's, it's like drinking a seltzer or a soda without having something with loads of sugar and stuff in it. This is obviously no sugar. I read you the ingredients. It's nice. The citrus is really different. I think um, the kombucha is sort of not taming it because I taste the lemon. I definitely taste the lemon, but it definitely tastes a little bit different. It doesn't taste like your typical iced tea. Mm. A little bit hard to describe, but I taste the lemon pretty strongly. And the kombucha is like really different from a black tea, it's different from a green tea, it's different from a roasted green rice tea, it's just a completely different taste than anything I've ever tasted before. So yeah, I, I actually liked, I didn't dislike any of them. Um, I would still say the watermelon is my favorite one. Um, and then probably followed by this one, I think, because this is the most interesting. I can see myself just sipping this on a regular everyday basis. So that's my tasting for today. Have you tried any of these products? Do you like them? Have you, have you noticed these waters? I think that's so cool just that you can get something that's not a juice so it doesn't have all that like quite as much sugar but it's just like refreshing. So have you tried any of them? What do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you like the watermelon best? Have you ever tried kombucha tea? <laughs> Tell me down below what you think. And thanks for joining me. Keep on living the week for your life. Bye.